some good players who had played some minutes together, and then the injury bug hit. They lose Sailor Brown, who's been a key player the last three years for them, and then they lose Kelsey Barkas, who's probably maybe would have stepped into the lineup uh, in her spot or at least been the sixth man without without Sailor, and they lose both of those um, in a in a quick span. They have to adjust so. Um, still been a good start for North Nottaway, and they they still have a lot of talent, um, but certainly some adjustments for the for the Jacksons there as they as they coach that team to to kind of figure out what they what they have now and what their identity is moving forward, and they certainly can't afford any more injuries out of that group. Um, yeah, I mean it's it was one of those groups that we really enjoyed. Uh, watching early on in the season um, then you know that last game against South Holt uh, they just looked off um, and you, know, you find out after the game it's because of the news of uh, a sailor's injury um, and so uh, now they get they had the winter break to kind of figure those things out and what they do now without sailor and without Kelsey um, but like you said still a group uh, you know Jaden Dobbins is really good um, and is a great leader for that team. Uh, Jackie Klein, when she's on, she's a great uh, guard for them. Um, and you see a lot from Sarah Brown, too, early in this season. Uh, a lot of things you like, uh, her and Lauren Herndon as well. Uh, so it's a team with some talent, and they just had to figure out that chemistry now. And um, you losing two players like that is huge, um, especially when one is uh, as talented as Sailor Brown. Yeah, what it really takes away is kind of the versatility with lineups. Um, I loved it when they were able to put basically five guards on the floor there for a while with with Sailor, Saren, um, Lauren Herndon, uh, Jaden Dobbins, and uh, Jackie Klein. They were able to really pressure teams, have, have uh, five girls out there who could all shoot. And now that kind of – takes away you're kind of locked into your lineups right now I think um with that starting five being being kind of set and it's a good starting five uh Carissa Oberhauser um Lauren Herndon uh Saren Brown uh Jaden Dobbins and Jackie Klein that's a that's a quality starting five that a lot of people would love to have but you just you're just missing a lot of that bench those bench pieces and like you mentioned Jackie kind of come into her own now as a sophomore and as a real leader on that team, I think has been really good for them. Um, she's, she's a really talented player, a very talented interviewer as well. So um, <laughs> we always are partial to those players, but um, she's, her stepping up has been really nice for them and having Jane and B be that other guard so it's not all on her like we've kind of talked about with some other situations where maybe it's all on one player to create um they don't have that issue because they have they have Jaden to help her they used yeah. to have sailor to help her too which was really nice um but now hopefully lauren's able to to kind of develop into that i know um just by watching her sister Kristen play for as long as we got to watch Kristen play. Like that's, that's what Kristen developed into by the end of her career. Um, so you kind of hope that Lauren has that similar trajectory where she can be more of a ball handler as her career goes on. But right now she's a really good defender and a solid shooter for them spacing the floor, which is super helpful to have. Um, and I like kind of what she brings that team as a freshman. So they just have a really fun group. Um, the next few years should be even more fun for them uh, when they get some of these girls back. I know losing Jada and Carissa are going to hurt this year, but um, that next year's team, assuming they get Sailor back fully healthy, um, could be a really fun team for North Nottaway. Um, so it'll be interesting to see that moving forward. But I think they can still do some things this year, too, for sure, with the group they have and in the coaching they have. They they figure out a way to uh, to stay competitive and very good. I know I thought last year it would be, for example, a really down year for them, losing all they lost off that previous year's team. And they 
they found a way. So I'm not going to doubt how they uh, how they run that program up there and how, how the quality of kids they have up there. So it should be a little less depth, but if they can, uh, they have some talent still. That's for sure. Yeah, and credit Jaden. Uh, when it comes to interviews, she is elite. Um, if there was going to be a class in Northwest Missouri, she could teach it on how to uh, answer interview questions. They've got a few. They've got a few. They're a fun group. Between them, Platte Valley, Maryville girls, and we got some. Uh, we got some good uh, interviewees around here. So, mm. Maryville so. girls could. They're still. They're still learning. Oh, well, yeah, yeah, still... hit and miss. <laughs> yeah, hit and miss. We're working. Aniston's getting – she's going to be there eventually. We talked about it yesterday during her interview and how much she hated it. But uh, we're working our way up there. But Serena Sundell has also done like 50 of them over the years. So that's she's about as elite as elite gets at those. So there you go. But anyway, uh, before we climb down that rabbit hole of interviewees um, – Let's go to uh, let's go to Northeast Nottaway and 